We all want more power. It's like Zero Lemon is keeping tabs on me. No sooner than I complain about my iPhone case woes, they go and send me something for my iPhone XS. But more recently, I got back from Las Vegas using my V40 as a production platform, and they've got a solution for LG's leaner battery life too. Now, considering the capacity and the use, I was shooting, editing, rendering video all from the phone, the V40 did better than I thought it would, but if we're really trying to get the most out of our tech purchases, we can always use more juice. The Zero Lemon Slim Power adds a 5,200 milliamp hour backup, allowing you to fully recharge the V40 one and a half times. It properly turns my V40 under normal use into a two day and two night phone. If I fudge the math on my CES trip, this easily would have gotten me through a full day on the floor and through my nightlife shenanigans. I was actually pretty boring this year, it would have been fine. I was worried about a battery case for this phone because of the wide angle shooter. On the iPhone XS case, having this plastic shell can actually help help the iPhone camera with lens flares. Acts a little bit like a lens hood, but wide angle cameras are always a challenge and mounting this phone on tripods or in a gimbal can be tricky. The solution is a bit lopsided, but scooping this near the fingerprint sensor gives us enough clearance for the case to avoid showing up when you're using the ultra wide. I also like Zero Lemon sprucing up the design a bit with this mosaic pattern, something new they've been doing on a few cases this year. I think it looks cool, it catches the light, it's a little nicer, as I think uh, some of their other cases can be a bit utilitarian looking. You line your phone up with the USB-C port and you just slide it in and snap on the top. It does exactly what it claims, looks better doing it, but there are a few small concerns. One, this is a lot of mass and that's going to completely disable Boombox if that's a feature you enjoy. Two, the bulge will slightly change the angle at which you scan your fingerprint, but I haven't run into any issues after retraining, so long as you train the tip of your fingerprint while you're doing that setup. You should be fine. Three, there's just enough plastic around the bottom that some headphone cable shielding might be blocked, but we no longer have the speaker ports that older Zero Lemon cases used to use. Four, this is a power only delivery system. You can charge the phone through the case when the two are connected through that USB-C port on the bottom, but it will not act like a pass-through for USB accessories. Five, lastly, I was a bit disappointed to see almost no protection for the display. On the iPhone case, we had just a tiny bit of clearance, which might have helped on a drop or if your phone ends up face down on some rough surface. On the V40, my glass screen protector rises above the sides of this case. It's worth reiterating that I don't believe battery cases are great solutions for protecting a phone. They're usually not built like rugged, shock-absorbing cases, but I was hoping to see a bit more of a screen guard. Weighing those potential issues, this really would have helped when I was covering the show in Vegas. Retail price? 40 bucks to more than double your phone's runtime. Maybe not my full-time daily driver phone case, but a great option for those days. I know I'm gonna be using my phone a lot. I'll of course have links down below this video where you can find more info on Zero Lemon cases and shop these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching, sharing, subscribing, not just geeking out on fun accessories, there are more conversations we need to have about getting the most out of our gadget purchases. If you would like to help support production on this channel, please head on over to somegadgetguy.com where you'll find a support banner with a list of all my current affiliates and partnerships, including my Patreon campaign, where you can contribute directly and get access to my exclusive patron-only content. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.